Welcome back to the channel, Guitars, Mods, and Music. Today we're going to shield this guitar cavity. We're going to use shielding paint on it. The last video, we used shielding tape on the pick guard. We're going to use shielding paint on the cavity. If you look right here, you can see this gray. I put a little gray on in there. That's a, a, uh, that's a product called Super Shield. I get it on Amazon. Comes in kind of pretty small little bottle. It works. There's several brands out there. Uh, there's one out there called Bear Conductor. It's really good. It works. And what we're going to use today is this conductive shielding paint. Uh, I got it from Stu Mac. This is not a sponsored video. This is just what we use and this is just what we do on this channel. So we're going to paint that on today. Show you a couple other little tricks that I do. Uh, as as well there's a lot of debate out there on shielding paint this one works that one don't I found them all to work I haven't found one that doesn't work the difference is is everybody thinks they're making a Faraday cage which really isn't possible unless you're inside a Faraday cage um, you got gaps around your pickups around the pick guard little gaps here and there it's never, never a perfect scenario. A lot of people say shielding doesn't help. Shielding definitely helps. Is it perfect? No. But I've been in situations where there's been lights, uh, you know, something going on with electricity causing me a 60 cycle hum with a Stratocaster uh, and went home, shielded my guitar, went back to practice the next time. It was pretty much gone maybe not completely gone but at least it was bearable single coils that's that's one of the things you have to deal with so there's no perfect way to shield but shielding you know in my opinion definitely helps also that's one thing that the more expensive guitars have that their their lower line more affordable models don't is like inside this squire telecaster the clear they oversprayed the clear and you can see it shining on there. Then there's a lot of raw wood, but they, you know, one of the ways to save money is they're not shielding their cavities. So that's what we're gonna do today. One little trick that I do on Telecasters, before I start shielding, I take a piece of the copper foil and I run it right here to where your volume knob plate will lay right on that and I run it down into this cavity and your pick guard I've already have shielded it's going to be touching that and then of course your plate your volume knob plate switch plate is going to touch it also I always do that on these before I start shielding. And there's not much to it, really. You just want to get a good coat. And I use a small brush like this, that way I can get up in the, the cavities. It's just a little little paint brush, it's nothing, nothing more. I can get up in the little cavities where your wires are gonna run through. That lets everything touch everything else. You can see how that's, you know, kind of floating on top of that, that clear that they overspray and you just want to make sure you cover every little deal with it I mean if you get it you know too far up or whatever it's not a big deal it's gonna wipe right off but anywhere that you know that that overspray from the, the clear they put on these you got to kind of get some on there let it let it stick on there and then let it set up just a little bit and come back and hit it again now see I'm painting right over this copper right over the top of it that way it's conducting all the way around. See over here, painting right on top of that copper. Now one thing I don't do is paint the inside of the jack. Something happens, it gets loose, your jack gets loose or whatever, it's gonna start touching the side, it'll start basically shorting it out on you. It's one thing I don't do, you can do it if you want, but it's, like I said, it's not a perfect scenario ever. So, whether you paint it, 
See, I run that all the way up in there and that for the wires cavity there. Same thing over here. Now you can use the copper stuff. It's great, it works great. And put down in there as well, the same copper tape. But I like to use the shielding paint. It's a little, little tidier, a little nicer looking. The problem with the shielding paint is that it takes a while to dry. But if you want to speed up the process, just get a blow dryer. Another thing I like to do is I take a little strip, just like what we done here, and I like to run it up where it's gonna come up and be underneath that tail piece. That's where you're gonna run your ground when you hook up your wiring and it sets right underneath that tail, that bridge plate. Use a little rubbing alcohol to clean up around the edges, like that, takes it right off. All right, so we're all, we're all dried up, we're all done, it's dried up. There's definitely conduction there using the shielding paint. This cavity to this cavity, we've got them connected, see that? Here too. Shielding paint definitely works, definitely helps. Do I think it's better than the shielding tape? It's definitely neater. I think the shielding tape is probably better. But when you look at the science of it all, neither of them is going to completely shield your guitar cavity. It's it's not possible with the gaps and everything. I would say that the the tape is better. You'll get a solid ring, see that? And what, what are we reading there? Three. Two is really good, you know. The other way we're bouncing around, you know. But it's working. It definitely looks better. And if you use the blow dryer, it doesn't take any longer actually, it's faster. Definitely a cleaner look. And that's the difference in right there, shielding your guitars. One of the differences between a custom shop or a high tier guitar and a low tier guitar. Very simple thing, you can do it yourself. But uh, yeah, I think the tape is better in my opinion. Uh, the amount that it's better, uh, very little difference. But it don't matter what I think, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. You think you should shield your guitars? You think it makes a difference? Put it in the comments, let me know. I wanna thank you guys for your time. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching. Remember, play your guitars, mod your guitars, and make them your own.